Hi there, Andrew. So what I want to review with you today is how to purchase a product, bring it into your Miami warehouse, and from your Miami warehouse, push it over to your warehouse in Suriname. So from there, let's, uh, let's first go purchase a product. So that'll obviously be done in the purchasing application. Just to give you, help you conceptualize how the flow is going to work, uh, once we purchase something, it will come into our um, receipts, once, uh, excuse me, it'll come into our internal transfer. And then once we purchase that, it will come uh, from internal transfer to the receipt where we bring it into the warehouse. Quest, select the product we want to purchase, one unit of product X, save it. When we confirm it, it automatically schedules in the incoming shipment. From an inventory perspective, We'll see we have one to receive into our company warehouse, and this is going to be in Miami. So if we open this, you'll see it's going to go from the vendor to the Miami warehouse. Once I receive it in the Miami warehouse, that'll be validated. It will automatically queue it up for another internal transfer inside the company to go from our warehouse stock in Miami warehouse to our stock in Suramine. When I validate this, it will then move it that quantity to our stock in Suriname. Okay, at this point we have introduced, we've brought in product uh, of one quantity and you can see down here it tracks all of the movements that this product has made. We can go to our reporting and stock moves. We'll see I have PO1 is what I tested before I am doing this recording and PO2 is what we just did now. Um, we can see 1125 and it's 1127. And then the other one was tested four minutes prior to. And you can see the different moves they've made. So you can see we brought it from them, uh, um, from our partner location to Miami Warehouse, and then from Miami Warehouse to Stocks I mean, You can see the same thing happened here. From the vendor to the Miami Warehouse, from the Miami Warehouse to our stock in, in Suriname. So with that, you can also see uh, inventory valuation at this particular date and time. We can see if I group by... Uh, location we can see in stock at this location there's two quantities of product X at a valuation of twelve ninety nine totally in the twenty five ninety eight in inventory value at this particular location so that will give you an idea of what you have that's how you can bring product from your vendor into a storage location in Miami and then you can push it off to your actual stock location in Suriname. Uh, from there, uh, it sounds like you're going to be shipping this off to customers. So with that, if you have sales orders in the system, for instance, create one manually here for customer John Doe. We will see when I sell product X. Confirm the sale. In Odoo, a delivery order is automatically queued up. So now when we look at our dashboard for the inventory, you'll see, oh, we have a new delivery order to do. Open it up. Customer John Doe. Sell order one. We can go ahead here, choose our products. It's going to go the source location. We're going to pull this stock from Suriname. Destination is going to be the location of the customer, which is John Doe. I can specify the quantity of product X here. And just like that, I can validate this, and it will move this from the stock to our customer location. Now, if I go to my inventory valuation, we'll see we only have one product on hand now. Um, if I go to our stock moves, we can see, you know, sell order one maybe we want to look at. Or we can see here all quantity or stock moves associated per location. And you can see sell order one from the stock to the customer location at 1129. So that's how um, the inventory solution is going to work. Please let me know, you know what other questions you may have or anything else that I didn't cover today. And I'll be happy to, uh, to drill a little deeper with you. Thanks so much for your time. Looking forward to hearing back from you.